Hi guys, and today we'll be talking about the 35th idiom in my idiom series. Actually, today we'll be talking about two idioms that you can use in your essay writing. Now, today we'll be talking about first and most for most, and the second, last but not least. Let's get started. Now, first and most for most is the idiom. It means to be to be the first thing in your list or the first plur person or place in the list can also be an object is the most important thing throughout the list now last but not least means that the last thing or person or place in the list is the most important well object or person or place in that list and now we're, well today our main idiom is last but not least so we're just gonna go for last but not least for now now, last but not least, origin is actually in the name. It's a little obvious. People, when the list was started to make, people started to think of making idioms with these, with these, well, lists. So they decided to make first and most for most, and last but not least, which I already told you already. Now let's look at some examples for first and most for most. <clears throat> now, for, now example number one. First and foremost, why don't you just read the big fat history book of world history? Dun dun dun. Well, example number two. Well, first and foremost, why don't you drink some cold water to chill up your feelings? And lastly, first and foremost, are you getting cold feet? I I am not. Yes, I'm not sure why you are. Dun dun dun. <clears throat> now let's look at some examples for last but not least. <clears throat> last but not least. Number one. Last but not least, there's Pypha the Python. <clears throat> Example number two. Joe has loads and loads of books. There are Sherlock Holmes, the Great Light series, the Writer series, and but last but not least, the Alex's series. Alex Ryder series, I meant. Now, all these books, part of them are real, including the Alex Ryder series. It's a comic, and well, we're not going to worry about that now. Let's look at example number three. And last but not least, there are limos waiting outside for us to take us to a swimming club. Yay! Yay! Now, let's look at the comic. And don't. No, there's only last but not least. I'm sorry, guys. Who wants first and foremost? <clears throat> Joe Smith has a lot of pets. First of all, first of all, there's Colin the Chameleon. Then there's Lottie and Larry, who are llamas. And then there's Freddy, Harry, and there's Freddy, Harry, and a uh, Kevin, Kevin, who are birds. And but last but not least, there's um there's Patsy the Python. Now this is a girl. And also I do not want Python as pets. So I hope you found this video as much as useful. And since we talked about two idioms today, I hope you learned double as much from the previous episodes. And if you did, please put in the comments below, like, share, and subscribe to this video. And I'll see you in the next video. Shit hand out. Booyah and pay!